This is four fusion engines coming together in one single combo. And honestly, this was so fun to make. The Azamina engine might be super splashable in other decks due to the fact that the Abelstar the Black Witch can create an Omni Negate through a one card combo using the Sinful Spoils cards. But the Azaminas are fusion monsters after all. And not only that, they require spellcasters and illusions, which naturally means it's meant to be played in a deck like Chimera or Branded. We can now harness the power of Blazing Cartesia, the Azamina Fusions, and the Sinful Spoils cards to create a board that starts with Azamina, continues with the Branded bosses, and finishes with the most infamous Shadal monster ever. This is the true power of fusion summoning. And in this video, we're going to be looking at Azamina post Rage of the Abyss using Chimera and Branded, similar to the fusion pile video we made, but a little bit more in depth with a combo that you need to see. So, which cards do we need to start playing this strategy? Starting off with some of the new cards from the upcoming set Rage of the Abyss, which introduces Azamina and continues the Sinful Spoils story. Sinful Spoils Deception is a continuous spell that tributes a monster from hand or field to add an Azamina card from deck to hand, and can set itself back to the field during the end phase if it was sent there this turn. Deception will search you a copy of Sacred Azamina, which sends a Sinful Spoil card from hand or field to the graveyard for each four levels your Azamina fusions have in your extra deck. Then its special summons that Azamina monster, and that is considered a fusion summon. With both Azamina monsters being level 6, at least the ones we're playing, we only need to send the deception that we already have on the field. It might be a little bit confusing, you'll see that happen in action during the combo. So this means that one wanted Seeker of Sinful Spoils, or one Dio Bellstar, can set deception to the field, activated, search for Sacred Azamina, send the deception as cost, which also will set itself during the end phase, and then you can just fusion summon one of your Azaminas completely for free. Now, which Azamina fusions are we playing? First of all, we are playing Rhea Silvera, which can tribute itself to negate any card or monster effect your opponent activates. Yes, this is just an Omni Negate. But the other one is a little bit more interesting. We have Mu Rusiliago, which can search any Azamina or Sinful Spoils card on Summon. Both of them require a Light Spellcaster and an Illusion Monster as fusion materials, which is obviously referring to the White Forest lore, but you know we have other Light Spellcasters in mind. A few other notable cards you'll see throughout this video. Sosaurus, of the Sinful Spoils, yes, this is a super weird name, it just means Whispers, which is a quick play spell card that can bounce an Illusion or Spellcaster from your field to the hand or extra deck, and then summon one of your Illusions or Spellcasters that it's banished or in the graveyard. Diabolica, the Draconique General, which can get us an additional Fiend Extender back from the grave, and the Duke of Demise, which is an Animation Chronicles card that is yet to be released and is still not planned for the TCG, but is incredible in Chimera as it requires two fiend monsters and can give you an additional normal summon which in chimera is super super valuable we'll use that normal summon to activate the effect of a spring hands kit to grab us a copy of branded fusion and eventually we'll make our way through the entire engine to get to a Shadal Winda summoned during your opponent's turn. This is four fusion engines coming together in one single combo, and honestly, this was so fun to make. So let's look at the deck list that you can download, follow along with the combo, and look at how it plays. This is gonna be the deck that we're using today to showcase the combo and the power of fusion monsters post Rage of the Abyss. You can download this deck from the description of this video and follow along in the next portion of the combo. We're playing two Burfamet, one Cartesia, three Kotal, three Diabellstar of the Black Witch. This is going to give us access to either an Omni Negate or just the Sinful Spoils engine in general. We have Diabell's lore. This card is really, really good in this deck. We have Diabolica, which again can summon one of your fiends from the graveyard if it's sent there by card effect. Two Edgem Chain, two Albaz, three Gazelle, one Tau, one Kit, three Mirror Source Knight, and three Nightmare Apprentice. We're also playing three Branded Fusion. In red, we're going to be using in red in this combo, Camera Fusion, 3 Patchwork, 3 Deployment to get to our Cartesia so we can access the engine otherwise. 1 Sosaurus of the Sinful Spoils, 2 Polymerization, 1 Sacred Azamina, and 3 Deception. This is the standard engine you'll see in almost every deck in the next format. 3 Wanted and 1 Schism. In the extra deck, we're playing 1 Mu and 1 Rhea Silvera. We're playing 1 Duke of Demise. Two Burfamed, one Chimera, one Guardian Chimera, Magnum, Albion, Mirror Jade, Rinbrum, because Rinbrum is a starter in this deck, Dragon's Topelia, 
App Clone to grab a copy of Shadal's Kism so we can summon the Winda and eventually Granginol, which will set up the App Clone in the graveyard. So this is the deck, 50 cards, full gas. I think when you're talking about a deck with four engines, it's relatively easier to push through boards, but let's see how this deck actually plays out. Download the deck and follow along. So Chimera is usually a deck that doesn't necessarily plus you in terms of card advantage in hand, but you'll see how many cards we get on the board using just the Nightmare Apprentice and a few other cards that we can put back and discard for several effects throughout the combo. So Nightmare Apprentice is going to summon by sending one card, grab the Codal, Codal effect to grab ourselves a copy of Mirror Swords Knight. Now, Mirror Swords Knight, first normal summon, activate and summon the Birth Mad. We don't care about getting locked into fusions here and we grab a kit and the Chimera Fusion will activate that, summon the Burfamat and chain to the Burfamat in the graveyard to grab the illusion back. And now we can send the Diabolica here with the Burfamat to summon back this Burfamat so we can fuse away into the Duke of Demise. So we'll bring back the Chimera Fusion from the graveyard, fuse again into the Duke. Now this Duke can give us another normal summon, which we use to summon Kit and get one card back into the deck. We'll use Branded Fusion to summon Albion using Cartesia and Alves. Now, here's the interesting part. We'll use that effect and banish a Light Spellcaster and an Illusion to summon Mu Root Si Ilago. Very weird name. We'll summon that. On summon, this will grab us a copy of Susurus of the Sinful Spoils. We'll use that, bounce back the Apprentice to the hand, and this will summon us a banished Spellcaster and Illusion, which will give us access to Blazing Cartesia that we just banished with Albion. We'll use the effect of Fuse with Albion into Granginol, send Apcolone to the graveyard, grab a copy of Schism and discard a card, and then set the Schism. Now, during the end phase, of course, you know the main phase three that we like, we're going to set Branded in red, and of course, Cartesia is going to come back to hand. Now, this was one card plus three additional random cards in hand. Could be Hand Traps, could be more Engine. This is why we also play Patchwork and the, the Edge of Chains, because they give us so much more value when we discard them to the graveyard. Now, during our opponent's turn, we don't actually have any monster interruptions here. We do have um, Burfamad that can tag out and summon the Sword Knight, but we only have Schism in red. So we're going to turn that into, of course, one Winda. And Brandon in red can either grab you a Mirror Jade or use the other monsters on the field to get a Guardian Chimera on the board. You can also get something like Magnum, and you can also actually make Chimera to make the one targeting negate in Grave live. Now, this might not be the craziest board in Yu-Gi-Oh, but I think it's so much fun to see how four engines work with each other and starting from one engine, going through four engines and ending on a really, really, honestly, an oppressive board with Winda and some blowout cards, I think is really, really fun. I think it's gonna be super interesting to see how this impacts Chimera. I know for a fact that Azamina is gonna be seeing playing Chimera. Again, the fusion pile is definitely becoming real. Leave your comments below in the comment section of this video, letting me know what you think about this deck and what type of strategies you're gonna be playing in Chimera Next format. Make sure to like and subscribe, click the bell to follow for more videos like this. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.